10 and 5. Just spin the night out. Go with familiar. Bishop out. We know the explanations. So keep going with familiar until the opponent does something unusual or or on the day, especially like let's compare it with over the board games. Yep. Um on this particular topic. So oh, excuse me. Yes, so we play all these games online, we feel comfortable with the positions, etc. And but then, say like playing over the board, then we question or we don't question, we go, well, I feel like doing something a little bit different because I'm so familiar with this position that I feel like doing something different today. So let's understand why we get those feelings of, I feel like doing something different today when I've spent all the years, all the months, practicing the familiar path and then when i'm in a new environment i'm going let's practice something different that needs to be really knocked on the head because practicing the something different should be done in this environment now you know where we're training practicing working out trying to keep the familiar background with us and at certain points then it changes because you have to then still look at it and say is it still familiar with me or is it slightly different they've not gone for the um fried liver so it's still familiar for us at this moment in time nothing's really changed but you still have to look at the familiar stuff that you're familiar with and make sure that it's not actually a secret unfamiliar type position so it can get confusing, but if you're wanting to develop, you have to challenge yourself all the time. You know, yes, I'm familiar with this position. Yes, I'm familiar with that. But still, there could be disadvantages in the position. See, I'm tempted to bring the smaller piece attacking the higher piece. I'm happy because the knight is there now, so the queen can't come and do that funky attack on the king type situation. But I'm actually going to just bring the bishop here first and let the queen take the pawn. The queen takes the pawn, we get the bishop for free. But the bishop's going to take to keep the tempo and then they'll take the pawn. So I'm actually going to go with the basics. What I'm familiar with, I'm going to attack the queen. So that's the type of thinking that I do when I'm over the board. I'm like, oh, let's try something different. When really my knee jerk reaction throughout all of my training would be to just hit the queen with the pawn. So challenging my, challenge my, challenging my thought process of what I believe is a better move then looking at it and say, well, no, that's not the better move. That is you trying to change what you've been practicing for these months um, and you're trying to make it fit a new type of familiar background when it's not familiar to you you're treading on waters that you've never tread on before or you've tread on waters that you have tread on before and the waters are not very safe for you so why continue all right so now we can attack the bishop see what he wants to do i think the knight's just flying in here just to cause some confusion So we're happy, happy is taken. Now we've got like the power base here. We do like this position. Queen's flying over, going for the cheapy. We're aware of that. So we can move the king out of the way. So comfortable at the moment. I mean, obviously there's all this sort of... <laughs> Oh my God, of all the moves, yeah, there's all this sort of stuff that they're going to start doing just to try and make some space towards our King Gary. We know this is what they're going to do, so we can do something about it. Let's just bring the, our Queen here to access attacking the Queen. Pawn 
pawn's got no protection so i think the queen's just going to drop here just to attack the pawn just for a cheapy it's not doing that but it's attacking it a different way so let's not lose our senses so we can bring the queen here looking just to defend Pawn's probably looking to push. At that point, do we take? If we take, then his rook's probably going to take back. So let's just bring the queen here. So this player is like um, a cheap attacking specialist. So every piece is going to be under attack. This knight's trapped, by the way. Just thought I'd mention that. So the pawn comes down. Yep. Okay. The pawn is down. It is trapped. But has it kind of given us something in return? That's the question that I'm asking myself. Going to take with the pawn. Obviously they're going to take. So their king will be a little bit airy. Can we take anything out of that situation? So they have taken. We could attack the queen, but they will trade. So what I'm going to do is take the pawn. The rook is going to take because it's going to be on the queen. But I'm fashioning, I think, some type of... I just need a bit of space. Just need a bit of space to make this work. I don't think they will take with the, um, I think they'll try and get this and get the rook here. Might be a bit slow because the rook has got no protection. So either the queen comes to defend whilst they're looking to get this other rook here. Elements of this, but it all feels a little bit slow. They've moved the rook. They've moved the rook. So attacking the pawn here twice. Let's bring the rook up. Allowing us to double. The queen off the board if it happens. Like we said, bishops wanting to come out. Is it going to do any of this? Maybe here. Just to stop the diagonal. Also protecting the king. Gives us time to do this. But it gives them time to bring their rook. Attacking this three times. Oh my god. The exact position. <laughs> ah dear. So we could push the pawn. But really they're looking to. But they can't put three on here. Because the bishop is blocking. So I'm going to bring the rook like we said. So don't panic. You're less pieces. And move the king out of the way. So we've got them really panicking now. Uh, they have protected this nice diagonal. Our queen is on a dark square at the minute. The knight's protecting the rook. So even if the queen came here, it's not going to make much difference. Because they've got a two on one. So let's attack their queen with the rook now. Just trying to find the balance. Is there any bishop coming here? Oh, maybe the bishop coming here and attacking this pawn. This bishop's just blocking this way. So if we get the rook here. But we can't because the queen is going to be defending here, sorry. So it goes there. Could get their queen off the board though, with less reduced pieces. Ishaka. Let's put a check. Put a check, his king comes for the rook. Oh, move order was done wrong. I was too busy concentrating on the fact of, oh, could get his queen off the board. 
if we went with the rook here with a check then obviously his rook would have to take and then his queen would have to take well maybe his king could move to the side but but they've done this movement here which has um, kind of thrown me off now okay do we take with the check king comes there move the queen across but then he takes the bishop with the queen but then we can put a check on his king something funky might actually start occurring here strange is as strange does So if we get here, then that's messing him up a bit, isn't it? But that's not happening because he's going to go for some sort of funky trade thing. Yeah, so he's, he has to do this or this, but I don't think he'll do that. I think he'll do this one. Rook takes, bishop takes, if the queen takes, then he takes our bishop. And we do have some sort of checks, but they're going to run out, I think. I don't think we can do many. Mm. So, yeah, we're in a strange position. It looked familiar, and then suddenly something kind of changed. And did we ebb and flow with it correctly? Not quite sure. Positionally, I think we ended up in um, an uncontrolled or unmanageable type situation for ourselves. I think move order caught us out. Yeah, I was always doing that. See the arrows, dude. Right? Well, let's have a look now. Do we actually need to take it? Any checks on? I think we do, don't we? We take. Take. Takes the bishop. And then we only have a few checks. Probably one. Maybe two at that. I don't think we have many checks on the king. Because he's going to be safe, isn't he? One. Can take pieces off the ball, but we're not going to get a check because his queen is going to save the day. Why did it take so long? It's um, pretty obvious, isn't it, what they're going to do? Here, then it goes here. Well, it's going somewhere where his knight can protect him. Just going to keep going across. Why you take so long? Safe haven. Should probably trying to get behind the pawns here. My own pawns. Yeah, that's way too long, dude. Just go here. Wow. All right, so we go here. He's just going to go here, I believe. Because he's got he wants to stop the checks and they just have a knight i think i tried this principle before well they've only got a knight so we can maybe try and utilize our king against their knight and their pawns put the check It's about three checks there, but we're not going to, yeah, like I said, it's going to make its way down high behind our pawns if we allow it, which we can't really stop it, really. Do, do, do. We could if we got to here and then went there, but then he's just going to block with the knight or the queen. It's going to block with the queen now, isn't he? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's go. Slides down, doesn't take the pawn. And we can't get to it because his queen's just blocking everything there. No, he's actually going for knight blocks or he goes here like we said.
gone there. The queen put on, but the knight is there. Could push this to hit the queen again, but that's delaying. And he's going to get a check on our king. Nope. Could put the check on. Oh, just put this here. Can't even bring it there yet. Unless, of course, he's going to move his knight. Looks like he's not wanting to use that knight. <clears throat> oh, he's taking pawns off. Mm -hmm. Knight defends. Hit the queen. King, sorry. Yeah, he's just going to find a little safe here, but now oh, he's moved out of the way. He's moved out of the way. It's just going to be just too safe in that little cubby. Well, at least I knew where he was going to go. So we'll go here. It's just going to hide around here. Using my own pawns against me. Oh. It's got checks on me now. He forgets himself. Queen's defending. Let's take it off the board. Let's not lose any sleep. But his queen's coming here. Maybe something happening like that. It's never moving that night, is it? Um, just want to get in here. It can happen. The pressure of an end game. Well, even though the queens are still on the board, um. I'm classing this as an end game now because there's hardly any pieces on the board. Usually you class the end game as when the queens are off the board, but there's limited amount of pieces on the board now, so we are definitely end game mode. The queen has moved. I'm looking for that, but it's not it's not giving me anything. Queen just takes, doesn't it? Queen takes, then we dance with the king. See if we get any of this, but he's got too many pawns on this side. Yeah, nothing doing, nothing doing. No more checks, white, he's on a dark square, I can't get in. Could attack this pawn here, but the knight is there. Could attack it this way. He takes our pawn, we take his. I'll just take this pawn. I'm just taking this and then at least we've got two pass pawns. Maybe they might lose tempo and we might be able to push them up. Push it onto the king. Oh, push, push, push. No, we're not. This my king is just going to get checked, isn't it? By their queen. Oh, excuse me. Wrong place again. Wrong place again. Hit the king. Going for it. It's on a dark square. It's the race. Now the knight's going to come here and block. Do we have enough speed? Because they want to play catch up now. So we're one move ahead. With the pawns. I think if this knight does what I think it's going to do, it's just going to end up peeling both of them off. Come on. We've got to believe. Believe. Come on. 
it looks doable time wise if they keep this time period time management up we're on to a good advantage here because they can't keep this long thinking thing in this end game now surely See them doing accounts, can't you? Oh, because the knight gets here, doesn't it? Oh, in fact, the knight just takes the pawn. If we push here, knight takes. Either way, the knight gets here and it's blocking the pawn. Ah. But if we do that and then it, the king takes the pawn, then we're... Yeah, but it still gets there and it gets that pawn off. Oh, damn, thought we. I believed in you. Oh, now it's gone to pawn. It's got three pawns. My king can't defend against three pawns. Oh. Close, but no cigar. Push. King just takes. Push. Knight comes here. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Boom, takes, takes, takes. Oh, nothing to do, is there? Only thing I can do now is try, it's five second increment. Oh, it's because I clicked on there, see, so it's five second increment, not zero. This is why this guy's taking so long with the moves. Oh. oh, man. Okay. It's still the same situation. His knight's protecting here. We go here. That's like showboating what they're doing now. Still, man. <laughs>